Hey, pleasant good morning, Reading Royals fans. This is going to be the next edition of the Royal Take as we talk about the great, great, great win of 6-1 to one over the Anirondack Thunder yesterday, the very scrappy Thunder team. Both teams came out early in this game looking like they were kind of getting that morning skate feel uh, to the game, which makes sense because morning skates normally at the time of the start of that game. And then there was really not much high chances at all in the first period. Kirk McDonald thought about it in the post-game press conference. It was kind of those coursey shots, and I agree with him, um, where you didn't get a lot of those high-octane chances. And then there was just a goal off of a shin pad. Um, of course, the Royals had a similar goal later in the game, but they also had five goals mixed in that were based off of cutting to the net and all this other actually high-octane scoring-creating plays to create the high-octane scoring chances. So... I think the Royals played a A-level game in this game as a whole, and particularly played an A-plus level game after that first period. Because in the first period, realistically, it was kind of just this back-and-forth sloppy, kind of trying to find the passes, missing it by a couple inches, kind of getting used to playing that early in the morning. And then when guys came back out, they said in the post-game pressure, there wasn't really anything specific said. It was more, <clears throat> they just know what they have to stick to. They stick to their dun guns, excuse me, they stick to their game plan. Um, and everything that they outlined from day one into now, and that is what has got this team where it is. It's the perseverance, it's the resilience, it's the stick to itiveness, which is probably the best way to put it, the stick to itiveness to no matter how the game's going, they're going to stay with their system, they're going to stay with the motto, and it always has worked, whether they're down a couple goals or whether it's just something like this that's a little bit of a shaky um, first, just because you're getting your legs under you at an early as heck a start to a game. Uh, so... Obviously, that all plays into it. But our first place running Royals, it was Castle and uh, Usti in net. Obviously, Kirk McDonald and Alex Lowe are the coaches of both of those clubs. And um, you had, and then Wash, and then uh, Kaplan, number thirteen on Anirondack, is a New Jersey kid who took the penalty early in the game. I'm going to start to try to shout out some of our local area product guys that play for other teams, just in case people have interest in that. But uh, he took a penalty, and then <clears throat> and then Cockrell took one right after. I couldn't read my notes on that one. Um, so, um, but then you have a 3-1 shots favoring Redding, which was through 10 minutes of the game. And there was a nice early save from Cassell for Anirondick, which was not very common. Uh, in that game yesterday where Cassell was not playing his overall game. And then they got, of course, the lucky bounce, the luxury-type bounce uh, from a point shot to make it one nothing in the first period, as I said, which was Alexander Carrier, who people probably recognize that game, or name, excuse me, he's been, been around for a while. Um, and then there was another trip late in the period. The Royals in the first two minutes of the second, I think, from the 20-minute the, the, the to the 18 mark, it seemed like we're still kind of getting that fuel period. And then all of a sudden, after that 18 mark, everything clicked in the high gear and in the full gear. And they never uh, looked back after that. Uh, Gooch um, was able to get one on the rebound after a beautiful one time from Bykoff. Um, and then Ebbing scored seconds later to make it 2-1 to one on a beautiful deflection. And then Royals on the PP at 917. Hossinger pots one on the power play as the Royals continue soaring in the second period on a... Um, on a rebound is where um, Hosinger was able to put it in, who's been absolutely soaring, had a great preseason. Uh, didn't have the most offensive points production start to the season. Played well in different facets of the game, like the hits, the blocks, the all that type of stuff. And now he's uh, starting to come up with the points, which is very great to see. Um, Royals get three goals in the second from Hosinger, Ebbing, and Gooch. Uh, Winquist gets... Uh, the fourth on a similar goal to ADK's first, which is one of those lucky just kind of crash net, go off your shin pad, go off your stick without even hitting it type bounces. But you take it, obviously, because it's still a goal is a goal is a goal, and it helps your team to win the game. Um, and then the third period, they just closed it out immensely. Morrison made it 5-1 to one or a nice rebound goal himself. And then Tomas Ebbing sniped one towards the end of the game to make it 6-1. to one. The shots were 41-19. to 19. This was all Royals, especially after that first period. This team is flying high and completely soaring, and they're not even 100% healthy yet. They still got a very, very good rookie that's been playing well, went in this year and chosen to be in the lineup because of how depth 
oriented this team is sometimes you just got to put somebody out there that's actually not playing bad they're actually playing soccer this year and there's nothing to that it's just to you got to be able to have a actual mathematical lineup you can't go over by the way of the league rules so it's just this team has a lot of depth and eventually you're going to have maybe one guy out per night that you're like oh why is that guy sitting tonight and it's just because of how full the team is but <clears throat> that obviously is a great testament to the management staff but this has been a reaction to the Reading Royals versus the Adirondack Thunder as they take down the Thunder 6-1, to one, play an absolutely fantastic game in the morning. Definitely come out on Saturday for when the ice is going to be pink. There's going to be great giveaways. And then also the next game on Friday evening if you want to do a nice little back-to-back. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe down below on the easy-to-use sub button or up above on that easy-to-use widget. Enjoy the hockey and go Royals.